got a package here from Steve Powell. All the way from across from another whole country. Oh, I got something else too. Found that beer. All right, I want to open this up. Uh, we, uh, I met, he's a pick maker. Um, so I run into him. We go to the same, um, kind of like a temple, um, fortress. We seen Bruce it's Lee when we were, they train all those ninjas. It's well, it's just like process. that, but for pick makers. And it's on Facebook. And we got to talking and we was going to trade some stuff. And I got my package today. It's heavy. Man. I bet he paid a good little chunk of whatever currency they use over there in the shire. So I'm going to cut. Should be more careful with that. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, I'll race these in days. Hold on a second. All right, so right here, I took a break and I come back. Somehow the sound ain't working. Screwed up big time. This so what I'm going to do funny. now, I, I thought about redoing the video. That's my beer I found. I'm so happy to have that warm beer. Um, I thought about redoing it and faking it open. Booze bag. I am, you would have seen right through it. And I don't do that shit for you guys. No, I want to do uh, director's commentary. Mystery Science of the Air type of thing. Maybe even with uh, the characters, like, you know. Ah, wee oui, wee. Oui. Yep. Shut up, Frenchie. Jerky or disjointed. It's because I'm just doing a little bit, and like right there, I needed a cigarette. So I paused it to look around for my lighter, and I started again. I don't remember what I was saying. We'll try and pay attention to what we're doing here. Steve really deserves better than this, but this is what he's getting. I'm not a good friend, uh, not a good person. But I'm I'm not good at opening a package. Obviously, I can tell by looking at that thing. I mean, I'm struggling How can with you the, have any pudding like a if you don't eat your meat? Christmas ham fist right there, the extra fat ham of a hand. But okay, I've managed to get it open, and we're gonna open the bubble wrap here. Here in a little bit, there's some weird shit that happens, and you might not notice in the video. But one thing about this uh, commentary edition is that I can tell you something. It was it was mysterious. All right, right there, I've got uh, there's some steel um, tubes. I think they're straws, and that's a cleaning thing. But uh, we, when you make picks and stuff, you, I don't know, some people anyway, always looking for some kind of new way to do stuff. Those, I'm not sure exactly what he's thinking, but I know he probably thought I would do Sometimes something with them. I wonder they can if be he used as pens, or you can put in resin in it, use oh, it as molds. That's not nice. Uh, you can do all kinds Shut of Shut up, Frenchie. Uh, but I was happy to see that. I think I'll find some more here in a little bit. It could be all wrong, too. The old man can get me in the comments and make fun of how much I've misunderstood stuff. But I'm, I'm not that worried about it. Let's see what happens here. Look at that. Now, that right there, I'm not sure what it is. It's some kind of foreign... It's, not, it's, a, it's a composite. It's a, it's a textile. Some kind of resin, I think. Really cool looking. Uh, and when you sand that down, it'll be some... Crazy little designs you see. He does some cool stuff uh, with resin like that, some less than traditional stuff. Right there, what do we have? That looks like a piece of... I'm watching the video with you guys. Uh, that's a piece of oak, I think. Looks like oak. I appreciated it, but, man, I'm drowning in oak. Uh, still, I do appreciate it. Oh, look, where am I at? I'm looking at... Oh, yeah. I think I'm showing a picture there of all my oak. And there's my beer. Uh, I was seeing him something that they have a lot of over there, like, a, I don't know, crumpets or mash bangers or something. These are cool. There's uh, guitar inlays. I'm not exactly sure what part they go in. He bought them uh, a bunch of them to make picks with. I've already sanded one of them now. I don't know what the wood was. It's pretty cool little grain in it. And I want to make some scales out of that. They have blue tape over there. Um, and I've seen some green on there. So, they got the... In a lot of ways, our our worlds are the same. In a lot of ways, they're very different. Um, strawberries and cream and tennis. I mean, we don't have that shit over here. But they love it. Big Ben with their giant clocks. It's insane. Their clocks are regular size. They're on banks. Look at here. Oh, that's another one of these cool little things. It, this was in one of our pick-making things. 
uh, when you sand that down, I thought it was candy. I actually tasted this, and it is not candy. <laughs> it looks like a sucker. It it has if you ever tasted resin, which I have, it's horrible. Um, it's pretty bad, but it looks cool, and it looks like candy. That one I started cutting on today. This is like a couple of days since I opened this. I got about halfway through it, and my cut was getting off, so I thought I'd stop and get it another time where I could straighten it out and not waste anything. And let's see here. I should do like some kind of song, too. Oh, that's a Euro cylinder. Yeah, I like that thing. Um, the e star S is what uh, the kind of was. It, it was, uh, it was it's a conjun conjunction. Uh, I forget the two names. I looked it up, did a lot of research. It's pretty common over there. It's like their equivalent to like a quick set or something we have. Maybe I'd compare it more to a sleigh because it's a little harder to open than a quick set. Not that hard to open, I'll say. It took me forever to figure out how to gut a Euro cylinder. They got these sneaky little pins that hide in there. Okay, that's the oak. I forget what the other one you gave me was then. That's the oak. Sorry to do, disparage an earlier piece of wood. And we got some more. Those are pin blanks. Um, people, pin turners and pick makers buy a lot of the same material. Watch the same videos. With allies of sorts. All right, so this right here is English walnut. If I remember right, yes, because I'm getting ready to go over here and grab some regular walnut from my house. You can notice a slight difference, but they're real similar. I don't know the real name of our walnut tree anyway. It could be some seed that they brought over here. Captain John Smith or something. Eh, very similar. <sighs> I got a warm beer for the commentary too. Those are some cool little scales. Um, it looks like resin he poured. Some cool shimmery effects to it. I'm not sure if that's a mica powder or what. I'm acting like I know a lot. He actually knows a bunch more about this shit than me. Camera will never do that justice. But once you look at it, it's real cool. Give me enough for about, I don't know, six, eight picks. And make a set out of those one day. Now, here's something. Okay, I told you some weird shit was coming. This right here, I was like, ah, oh, cool. Oh, but, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I thought it was something he knew that I didn't know. There was some trick to something about this. It looks like those things where you go to the dentist where they suck the water out of your mouth. It's got a suck and a spray thing on it. They go down to, I don't know, a fit in it. It looks like they would go to a hose. Asking him about it, uh, texted him, and I was like, hey, man, what are these for? I don't fucking know. Uh, well, they're in the package. He's like, not my package. Yeah, man, they were right in the package. Uh, somehow, mysteriously, um, those got into his package. I don't think it's that mysterious. I think the man drinks a little, and he put them in there. I, his wife might work for a dentist, and he took some of her stuff. I'm not sure. It's just speculation. But anyway, no idea what those are. I want to make something cool out of them. I got two of them. Probably pretty expensive, man. I've looked at some medical equipment before on eBay, and that shit's always high. Make something crazy and give it back to him. Uh, some kind of, I don't know, graphite dispenser or something for your lock needs. All right. I'm trying to run my mouth through these boring parts where I'm running my mouth on the other video. You can't see anything going on here because I don't know what I'm doing there. I, I tell you, to be honest, I scratched my butt about like 16 times during this. You just can't see it. That's something I'm sure. Oh, that's a note. And, uh, it, it's, it's like a, I don't want to say a love letter. It's more like fan mail, love letter. It's kind of like both of them. Just telling me that I'm handsome and great. Great lock picker. Uh, great person. Uh, champion of the world, I think, is how he signed at the end for me. But then we're looking at some shit here. What do we got? Oh, that right there is something I've been very excited about. That is, uh, Law of Lock Steel. Um, it's the, I actually, coming up, I got some picks. Great uh, pick profiles, a really cool metal. Uh, I never had any, because the shipping kind of kills us from place to place. But he, uh, I'm sending him some of our Peterson 420. This is 301 Law Lock. We're gonna, 
I haven't made anything from it yet, but I'm really anxious about it. There's some tests. I'm testing the magnet, and right here I'll do a spark test on it. Uh, Peterson stainless steel actually still sparks, and um, it's magnetic also. Stainless steel has a bunch of different types and grades, but this is one of the tests you can do. This is at zero, zero spark at all. Um, so that's going to make it, that's a sign of uh, corrosion resistance, high corrosion resistance. They won't, they won't rust. They won't get a film of them. They'll get a film, but one you can't see. I don't want to get into metallurgy here because I'm learning. And I don't have enough to talk about. This right here, it looks like a uh, punch out from where they make one of their rakes. Uh, they got sales that this is leftovers. You get them at a good rate from the cutoffs from the roll, I guess, of metal when they're making picks. And um, pick makers over there gobble that stuff up because uh, it's really so. I'm excited to work with it, it's supposed to be really good steel. And I like doing a spark test on everything. I'll spark test metal if I know what it is. I'll just like, oh, hold on, spark test and grind it a little bit. This is a good part coming. These are some picks. This is a, is a pick maker train with another one. This is your favorite part, is get somebody else's stuff. And you shit all over it, you insult them. Pick out all the flaws. Not really. These are great picks. I love them. The guy's got a unique style. He's got a profile, handle profile that he uses a lot. And I get it after using them. They're, it's very comfortable in your hand. Really cool picks. Really cool resin work. I told him I didn't have a reach or I liked the reach pick he made one time. So he sent me a couple of real cool ones. This one right here looks like an elephant. Watch if I hold it up there. I think I would. You gotta look at it just right. It's like, the trunk eating peanuts. Look at that handsome bald head right there. No, I went for a lock. It's probably where I'm explaining what I just explained. It's like fucking time travel or something right here. Ugh, I gotta have to go over this again and add some more Frenchy voices. I don't know how to say much more than, ah, wee oui, wee. Oui. Um,. What else do I know? I don't know. One ton of marrow. No, that's something different. All right, so back to this. These picks are badass. I, with another maker's picks, is you always want to use them because that's what they're meant to do, but also you don't ever want to mess one up. So I got three of them there. I'll probably put a couple in my collection of other people's picks. But uh, like I do other another guy, I got a couple of his. I use them some just because you just got to use them. It's not something about handle shape right there it fits in your hand it, it feels really cool what i'm gonna do is i might start making mine like that and just pretend i come up with it i do shit like that oh okay these right here are typing if i'm pronouncing it right it's a dude from new zealand australia it's all the same but um he's a real cool dude and really good with metal work in the pick group but he also um they commissioned him to make some profiles for bottle lock steel. And they're kind of like, uh, what do they call them? It's for more high security locks. Uh, little, there'll be a little scoop in it. Uh, I think it's a scimitar, they call it, to go for a high set right behind a low set pin. And it's, it's some real specialty type picks, but he's really good at it. And I'm very happy about getting these picks. I'm going to make some nice handles for him. I'm actually waiting to make sure I got a good handle. Oh, I think my video's coming to an end. Um, I'll add some more here in a second. Blah, blah, blah. All right, this is the wrong video. I had, I'm going to leave it. This is my mobile setup. Um, this motel room I'm in for a couple of days. This is the shit I carry around with me to make pics and stuff. Pain in the ass, but I'm sure that.